has a superpower to make women do this. Welcome back to Nonstop Recap. Today hey. we'll be going over the sci-fi horror, The Unhealer. The movie okay. opens on an old camp. So like redo a healer. Trailer driving through the woods at night. A man, Fluger, emerges wearing a headlamp and My man Flug! He steals a human bone from an ancient Navajo grave and a bolt of magic shoots out of it, throwing him into the side of his vehicle. Look at my boy After robbing the grave and getting zapped by magic, he drives away with an evil laugh. The next scene introduces Kelly being Can y'all do an evil laugh? How evil is my laugh? <laughs> That's a, that's a solid eight or nine, right? That's a solid eight or nine. The store by some of the jocks from his high school. The jocks bully him because he has an eating disorder called pica, which makes him want to eat things that are not food. His friend Dominique sticks up for him. So like what? Man wants to seize cars and starts getting hungry? But jocks put Kelly upside down in a trash can. Did he eat One the trash bag? One of them pours soda on him. The jocks record it on their phones. Damn. The next day, Kelly isn't looking very well, and he realizes as he snacks on a pencil eraser from his locker, which has the word trash boy written on it in Ew. big white letters, that the video of the jocks putting- What the hell is this angle, bro? They are touching tips. They are caressing tips. What? him in the trash can has spread around the school all of the students are laughing at him kelly gets sick because of his diet of ramen noodle lids and erasers kelly's mom calls a doctor to check in on him but That's the doctor so tells his mom that there's nothing he can do for him because kelly needs psychological help not just medical help in the next scene a crowd of people gather around fluger it turns out he's my a boy flu and despite his snake oil shtick his magic works and he can heal people but unfortunately he he uses his power for gain, healing crowds of people for money. Fluger calls an old. That's what hospitals do. <laughs> what do you mean he uses it for gain? That's that's what hospitals do. What are we talking about? Y'all get all my men's flugs meat, man. Woman to the front of the crowd to demonstrate. The woman has to use a walker because of the pain in her back and her legs. He heals her and she tosses her walker aside, proclaiming it's a miracle. The whole crowd cheers. After the crowd leaves, a Navajo man named Red Elk confronts Fluger. Red Elk explains that he knows that Fluger stole his powers from an ancient grave. Okay. Tells Fluger that in time the magic will turn on him somehow and he will die because of it. The man is 96 six and a half years old he knows he's gonna die regardless let him get his bread up for his grandkids a man named fluger very rudely refuses to heed red elk's warning and sets off to heal kelly later that day fluger visits kelly's home and attempts to heal him but dies in the process and passes his powers on to kelly after realizing his new powers, Kelly is much more confident in the next scene. He stands up to one of his bullies later that day. The bully tries hitting him, but only hurts himself in doing what? so. In frustration, the bully tries striking Kelly over the side of the head with a Wait, piece of lumber and how does keeps that, him- How does that work? That's not what his power was. His power was healing, but he's reflecting the damage. ...himself a concussion. On his way home, Kelly gets a job at a pizza place in town and starts thinking of ways to monetize his powers to support himself and his mother. His mom points out that if he picks a profession that shows off his powers, things might not end so well for them. Facts. So the idea is shelved and never mentioned again. Yeah, Kelly they start experiments in your body, probably play with the pubes in your butt. You don't want that to happen, bro. And they might put you on an island with the, the, the man, the myth, the... the not so legend Epstein. Covers that if he eats something that belongs to someone, they will be affected by whatever he does to himself. While what? sitting behind Dominique in class, her scrunchie falls off her hair onto Kelly's desk. He picks it up and eats the tag before deciding to give it back to her. He starts fantasizing about having sex with her and she becomes aroused. He then fantasizes. <laughs> no! There's always a turn, bro. There's always a turn, bro. I thought he could have been a good guy. You know, do good things. No, it's never the ass.
realizes about Sarah and Sarah becomes aroused. He has an orgasm in class. Both girls also have orgasm. No, that's cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, that's embarrassing. Oh my God. Imagine just chilling in class and then 30 seconds later, you just... <laughs> he falls out of his chair and runs out of style, covering his pants. In the next scene, Kelly and Dominique are at a bonfire party when Kelly is confronted by his bullies again. Kelly stands up to the jocks and even mocks one of them. However, things are about to escalate quickly when Gus, the team football coach and father of two bullies, arrives and tells them to knock it off. Yeah. The bullies see Kelly on the road back from the party and chase him down in their car and run him. And bullies always be wearing driving Mustangs. And why are you running him over? He literally didn't do nothing and you're hitting him with a car. Over. Brett alone is affected by the magic because he was the one driving. The oh. other bullies run away and Dominic and he Sarah died. catch up to Kelly. A few he minutes. died! He died! So they were trying to kill him! For what? It's later. Kelly explains to Dominique what happened and she accepts his explanation. When they return to school, Kelly and Dominique eat rice cakes together and discuss the accident. Dominique says that the police think it was a malfunctioning airbag that caused the crash. Kelly and Dominique begin to lay the groundwork for a romantic relationship when Dominique coaxes Kelly into asking her out. In the following scene when Kelly is taking out the trash at his job at Grazie's Pizza Place, he is confronted about his powers by Red Elk. Kelly confirms his suspicions by telling Red Elk his origin story and running back to work. Later, the bullies wait for Kelly to leave his trailer and- So you're telling me Kelly gonna get bad karma because- purely because some old man passed the power to him? That's so unfair, bro. He gets bullied, gets a good power, and he now he's about to get karma from that good power. This is a setup, man. And when they think it's empty, they prank him by pulling his trailer off its foundation. It destabilizes when the trailer falls and the stove what? is ripped from the wall, filling the trailer with gas. Kelly's mom, who was napping what? on the couch when he left, is trapped inside. In her panic to get out, she knocks over a lamp, causing it to spark and ignite the gas. The trailer explodes. Kelly comes back in time to try to rescue his mom from the wreckage, but she's already dead by then. He what did he do? This man is going against Gotham right now for no reason. He carries her burned body outside and falls to his knees in agony. Later, he lies in a hospital bed staring at the ceiling in shock. He's unscathed, but because he has no next of kin, he will have to go into foster care. Red Elk shows up at the hospital to tell the sheriff that Kelly has stolen magic powers. The sheriff doesn't believe him, but Red Elk tells him that he should look for him when he's ready to believe him. Later, at his mother's funeral, he sneaks away from the crowd to be alone and finds his way to Pfluger's grave. Dominique comes to see him. He tells her that he'll miss her but has to go into foster care. The two finally kiss and then part ways. Afterward, he eats a leaf from a weird plant growing on his grave and becomes violently ill. The sheriff tells him some information about his mother's death that points So he can't control dead people. That's what it is. Foul play on the way to foster care. Kelly surmises from the details that the jocks who bully him must have done it. His suspicions are confirmed when the jocks drive past him. They flip him off and hurl insults at him. He Kelly just leaps out somebody. of the car and vanishes. The sheriff goes off looking for him. Kelly figures out that the jocks are going to the creek and he follows them there for revenge. He sees them swimming and drinking. Why is there a Negro, man? Why? Why? Why couldn't they just leave this to Caucasian behavior? Beer and he seizes the opportunity. First, he kills one of them by eating some of the jock's clothing so that the magic will affect him from a distance. Then, Kelly starts choking himself with the rest <laughs> of the shirt wrapped around his neck, That's causing crazy. the bully to drown. Kelly emerges from his hide- He killed the black man first. That's the only purpose he was there, just to be killed first. That's- place to gloat but has to make a quick getaway because one of the bullies has gone to get the sheriff. Dominique is looking out of her window in the next scene when her mom warns her to keep it closed because she doesn't want to risk Kelly getting in. Kelly. Just after saying this and leaving her daughter's room, Kelly shows up in the window. And Why? Dominic How did she know Kelly was going to come in? I'm so confused. He tries to talk him out of revenge. She suggests instead trying to get the bullies to confess to what they did. But the next day in science class, when Kelly 
Billy barges in and demands a confession from one of the bullies, the bully instead tries to kill Kelly for calling him out on the murder by throwing acid in <laughs> Oh Josh my god! Instantly. Why are y'all making acid in class? He deserve it though. He deserve it. He deserve it. And uh, Kelly flees the scene. That night, Sarah, dating one of the jocks, tells him about what she saw at the funeral, with Kelly eating those weeds and getting sick. Together, they surmise that the weeds are Kelly's kryptonite and harvest some to use against him later. Later, Kelly confronts two of the jocks and their father, Gus, on the football field after stealing and eating some clothes from the back of the sheriff's car. He uses what? a power drill on himself to take out the jock's knees when he tries to spray him with a tank full of green liquid made of the grave weeds from before. Four. He stops attacking because Dominique asks him to, and when he does, Gus, the jock's father, tackles the sheriff and steals his gun. The jock manages to spray Kelly and weaken him, after which he tells his dad to take the shot while Kelly is weak. Dominique blots enough of the liquid off of Kelly to dampen its effect, and the Show him! Ends Show with him! Gus shooting Kelly in the head. Shooting yes. Kelly back yes. and kills Gus, but it yes. also kills the jock because Kelly still has a piece of his clothing in his stomach. Dominique blames him for everyone's death. And threatens to break up with Kelly if he doesn't agree to go with Red Elk and complete a ritual that will separate him from the power. But the ceremony is botched. The power has been with Kelly for too long and has become a part of him. The only way to separate him from the power now is to kill him. Kelly and Dominique are both fatally wounded by an officer's shotgun blast. They fall into Fluger's open grave. Dominique dies instantly, but Kelly heals magically and lives. Kelly eats the heart of Fluger's corpse, renouncing the power and accepting death, and the power leaves him. His body goes through a slideshow of all the deaths he's avoided, and then he falls backwards dead with a bullet hole in his head. The movie closes with Dominique waking up in the back of an ambulance and healing instantly. That's the dumbest thing I think I've ever watched. That was so stupid, bro. So he gets bullied, finally pays his bullies back, and now he deserves to die. That's so dumb, bro. That is so stupid. Get this off my screen, bro. That was so dumb.